welcome back everyone. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. As I know a lot of you listen to me in the morning. Oh, need to pour tea down the front. Um, <laughs> what I should do is stop the film now and uh, start again, but I won't. Um, I won't because I've sat at this desk or in my little office, which is about three meters by two meters, since 8.40 and I was meant to film this by 11 and it's now 20 to three. Um, and I've just thought, you know what? I don't know why I'm procrastinating, thinking about things, sorting, organising, diddle my head's all like this. Do you feel like this in September? I feel like this most of the time, actually. And then I pulled the mirror up and I thought, right, I'm going to start like getting rid of some hairs, getting myself like, oh God, my brows are completely down from putting my jumper on. And just talk to everyone, because that's what you seem to like. How are you all? I've missed you. <laughs> Um, it seems like a very long summer. Um, uh, we went to Thailand and uh, met my lovely friend Richie, who's been there 25 years. Um, we learned to dive with him, and he's stayed out there. He's got a dive school out there. We met this beautiful um, Dutch girl called Des. We have a gorgeous daughter called Jazz, who's a Muay Thai fighter, boxer, amazing. So my kids did that. Um, anyway, it was one of our dreams that we took our children, our three children, our three boys, to dive. And there we were. Blah, 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 blah underneath the water. It was very special. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. And um, I've got lots to say, but maybe I should just start doing something with my face to entertain you, because that's clearly why you've come on, uh, not to actually listen to my life. Uh, right, first of all, I'm going to do a little brow, which is hilarious, because when I did this before I went to Thailand, I do it so haphazardly. I use the same product, you've probably seen me use these before if you've been a long time viewer. Um, these are just professional products that I picked up from the professional beauty store. Um, nothing particular, I just like the light brown. If I'm dyeing someone's eyebrows back and I don't have this to hand, um, I use the men's hair colouring in light brown. Um, what's it called, go, to, go for men or men's, men's hair colouring. Um, just for men, that's it, if you're in the UK. Um, so I just put like a little squidge just in this lid here, chuck on some developer, but I did that classic thing, right, where I um, answered an email and left them on for about five minutes. So they were quite dark and I actually did like it, but no, we're going to be really careful. So I'll just chat away for two minutes. So I mix it up with a spoolie and I do this in sort of two ways. And frankly, a friend of mine I was talking to the other day, She's a lot younger than me and she's got great brows. She actually dyes her brows every single week just to dye the skin. She's got good brows though, but it really does make a difference. Um, just sort of kind of getting that depth of your brow. So yeah, really haphazard. I mean, don't follow me for great tutorials on this, but I start with um, just taking off the excess and I don't touch the skin, but I just put it on the hairs going backwards. I apologise, we've having, um, our neighbours are having a loft put in, so that's going to be a few months of soaring metal. Yeah, chain soaring bare metal on a Saturday morning is really nice, right? Why can't they do that in the afternoon? Builders always seem to be so noisy um, in the mornings. I don't mind during the week, but you know. I'm just painting this on, just on the top, and then I will go in with a brush to get the tails, um, but just to kind of make the mornings just a little bit easier. And those days where you literally can't be bothered to put anything on, um, just tinting your brows makes all the difference if you need to, because obviously some of you might have gorgeous dark brows, which I envy. Turn this brush around, sculpted by Amy Brush, nice double-ended one, I'm sure Amy won't mind. And then I just do like a little sort of imprint of a tail. Now, this won't be like it looks. It will be a very, well, I'll show you in a minute because I'll take it off. Um, but I just like a very sort of soft effect because my brows are naturally and always have been like really high, very spocky. Um, so I have to sort of pull them down. So I do like a little tint just at the bottom and then put this on. And then I'm gonna do a little bit. I love my magic razors from Votary. Um, actually, I must get one of her hyaluronic serums. They're amazing. Um, for the dry skin to come, guys. How is your skin post-summer? There's always a few little tricks, good masks, good exfoliants, but if you want me to do a dedicated film on just kind of really rebooting and maintaining the hydration of your skin after the holidays, that's if you have had lots of sun exposure, um, let me know. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the root here, very, very softly. Um, 
let's hope I don't forget filming this real time. Now I'm just pushing this in a little bit more onto the skin. As you can see, I haven't put any, um, sometimes you put a, a Vaseline um, around the eyebrows so you don't get any kind of like random staining, but of course I haven't done that. Um, I would do it if I was doing it on someone else, mind you, but just not on myself, just because it's, sometimes these quick little beauty tricks just need to be quick. So put the lid on, otherwise that will go down and I will get a little cotton pad, one sec. Sorry about that, put some water and take that off. Anyway, if you, I've done lots on dermaplaning. I've dermaplaned my face for many years and it is the bizarrest thing. My skin always stays soft. Uh, if you go back a few years, if you're new, then um, I did one, um, uh, a quite in-depth dedicated video to that. But my favorite and has been a favorite for a long time is the one by Votary. So when I've taken it out, I just use um, a little sanitizer um, just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. That's really, really important. Um, and actually, if you get the box, I think there's like three in a box and they last quite well. So, so for me, I just kind of take my mirror and um, sit on the magnifying one and just around my lip line, just run it down either side because I'm quite bumpy on my lips and I find that the fine hair um, makes it worse and also the sides of my face. So I've just got a cleansed skin at the moment and then I put a nice softening treatment on afterwards. And you can see, you just get this, maybe you can't because it's very, very light. Just a very soft, downy removal. My um, pressure is very, very light. So yeah, that's it. And also great for underneath my brows because I'm really, well, I guess I'm really furry and that just helps. So again, just use a sanitizing spray, clean, and then put the lid on so it doesn't sit and get dusty and I just leave that in my pot and I do that sort of whenever I feel like it once a month. Okay, let me take off just with some water my brows. That should have made a nice difference, hopefully. Yeah, look, and you can just see that it's kind of created that nice tail. Backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You want to make sure that you keep taking it off until you get a nice clean pad. So I think that was on for a couple of minutes, possibly a little bit longer. Um, but you can probably see, well, I should have done it before and after, shouldn't I? <laughs> but you're watching with me. I never really bother with my lashes anymore. Have you gone off doing that? I just find that it's a bit of a faff getting the colour around. I don't sit still long enough and then I try and do the job. or I try and do a job, put the wash on and I've got like tint around my eyes. You know what it's like. And then you think, oh God. So yeah, I don't really bother. Great. So that's made a lovely, subtle difference for me. I just put that mirror back there. So I'm pleased with that. Good framing, right? Right, so I wanted to talk to you about a couple of empties um, and some products that I've just loved using over the summer. I'm just to make sure this video doesn't go on too long. I have loved Sea Firma Fresh Day Serum by Drunk Elephant. It's been a while since I've used any of their products. You mix this vitamin C when you buy it, you pour it in. It's 15% L-ascorbic acid, so it's the strongest formula of vitamin C that you can buy, but there's also the most unstable. Um, you know when your vitamin C has sort of gone off because it goes dark. So don't ever bother putting that into your skin because it's not gonna make a difference. So when I put this, when I mixed it together and it came out, it was just a very pale honey color. You're like, woohoo, it was amazing. It really added brilliant brightness to my skin. I used it every morning when I was on holiday. I'm gutted that it's finished. I'm going to buy myself another one. Um, the only problem with this was is that I cannot tolerate it on my neck. Um, like I said, it is sort of like the gold standard, really, because it's got ferulic in as well and vitamin E, um, and it is quite strong. So it's not really for everybody. Um, I think a few of my friends and my mum particularly would get probably sensitised by that. But there's other options, many other options. If you want to do more of vitamin C, um, chat that we can do that. But I really saw a credible difference in the brightness of my skin. So I then went and searched for lots of vitamin C's. I've got four or five out, just trying different textures. And I wanted to find one that gave the same results, but didn't hurt my neck. Sunday Riley CEO. Now this is a very different texture to this one. You put this on and it's a bit like, ah, uh, 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 bit sticky. It's not like a pleasurable application. You just put it on. Um, but when you put this on, it feels like putting a luxury serum on. 
and it works beautifully on my neck and I want to be able to use vitamin C on my neck um, because I'm beginning to see the difference between my skin and my neck and my chest. My chest is a whole other thing because I've got such bad damage from my acne and um, overexposure to sun, but that's another matter. But I want to make sure that I'm trying. It's a bit late, nearly 50 in January. Woo woo. Um, but you know, never too late really, I guess. So vitamin C's, absolutely love these. I've also really enjoyed Sally Hughes's Cream Drench Moisturiser. I took this on holiday because it's a super, super light pot. Now I wanted to be really organised and tell you exactly what's in it in terms of the hydration, but um, I forgot. All you need to know is this is super lightweight and really, really hydrating and it is great on your lips. I've been using this on my lips and my lips have not been dry at all, even when I got off the airplane from holiday. It's something to do with the emollients in the product. I know Sally loves glycerine um, and I will probably maybe get back to you on Instagram and when I've actually done my homework properly. Um, but to say for a great value moisturiser, for dry skin, because you know how dry I am, this was amazing. Okay, um, I've got so much to say. Oh, by the way, you're gonna ask, aren't you? We've got the green. I first I'm feeling very, very autumnal, aren't I? That literally was a mistake. I brought a new little plant pot. I'm loving the pinks and greens together. And this Wipe the Slate Green is the new green from um, Nails Inc. I love all the greens. In fact, I'm going to ask them actually if they can send me the whole green collection. I should have a Caroline green collection. Um, maybe we could do a promotion on that because literally obsessed. Um, and, and I just thought when I saw it, I thought, oh, that's the green for this year. And then I thought, when I put it on, yes. She's so good, Thea. She just knows, she just knows. Right, another thing that I want to say to you is that my friend, and I do this like that, not because I'm trying to be, <laughs> um, I don't know, what am I trying to be? Um, swing my hair. It's because I'm talking about hairdresser. Um, Adam Reed um, has a really beautiful, very affordable um, range of hair care products, shampoos, conditioners, etc. And he is also a massive advocate of mental health. He suffers with mental health himself. He's very open about it. He's an amazing communicator. Um, and he has this, um, he has formulated this great um, hair primer. And if you love rhubarb, you're gonna love this. I love this, tangle-free, soft hair, protects it from all the heat. Um, I don't know whether you, what you think, for those of you who followed me for a long time, but I think the hair's doing all right. Thanks to K18 and not having a haircut in nearly a year because I cut it so badly in lockdown. I mean, I literally had sort of a mullet. It looked like just kept cutting it shorter and shorter to kind of make it look fuller and better. Um, but actually, yeah, just don't cut your hair, girls. Right, that's another top tip. Right, okay, so I should probably fill in my brows, but I want to show you a foundation that I started using last week, Ambient Soft Glow Foundation from Hourglass. Now you are probably gonna think, well, of course that's lovely. Um, and I wanted to show you other ones in comparison, but I just have loved how perfected my skin has looked. So I'm using the shade um, 6.5, which is very yellow for me. I'm still quite tanned after my holiday. And Mr. James Reed, I probably need a new one of these. I'm going low. Um, this um, H2O Rose Mist will just see me through to the end of October and then I will accept my paleness, but I'm not accepting it just yet. Um, the reason I'm going to show you ambient, I don't really want to do like a whole makeup because there's so much to say, is that a lot of the time I put on my makeup with my fingers. just want to show you this. This is a foundation that you really, well, I suppose you can put it on with your fingers, but I think for most people will be quite scared to put it on with their fingers. Um, and I don't think from an, ex an unexperienced makeup lover, Oh, I didn't put any moisturiser on. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, um, from an unexperienced, I mean, you call me a professional, gee whiz, sorry, sorry, sorry guys, really tuned into the wrong person here. But I'm just a bit um, excited to be back and lots to share. I need to kind of streamline myself. The reason I'm putting this on my face after I said that I shouldn't put it on with my fingers is that I want to show you that this buffing brush here, this is by Refer, um, Refer, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Apologies to the brand if I've got that wrong. Um, is that some foundations really need a buffing brush, and I don't really like to use a lot of brushes um, because I like to, as I've said before, in a kind of jokey way, I'm a bit tight, a bit stingy, 
and I want to make sure that I get all the product on and that's fine. I'm just saying that when you put it on, you might find yourself thinking, oh God, that's way too heavy. Because my experience with people putting makeup on themselves is that they put it on and they expect the final result to be perfect as soon as they've put it on. And they go, oh no, like within three seconds, I've put makeup on, oh no, hold on a minute, just let me blend it, let me finish it. Um, and then they kind of get this fear and then it's, um, and they calm down a bit. The point is, this needs to be buffed, but oh my gosh, it gives such a beautiful finish to the skin. It's not too shiny. I won't need any powder, but I've had such sheer bases, which I've loved. Look, you see, you've got to be careful. I nicked myself very, very slightly there. Um, that's annoying. That is literally the first time I've done that in a long time. Oh, well, I just have to make it into a little mole. Put some brown eyeliner over the top. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't post this film, I don't know. Um, anyway, so I use one pump. And you can see how extensive this is now, right? How I'm getting so much coverage from this foundation with only the smallest amount. Because where my pigmentation is like all around here and where I need a little bit of extra coverage, so my little friend here, I like to place the colour on that. I haven't done anything around my eyes, obviously. Um, and then use the buffing brush to really push it in. And this just really helps the product migrate with your skin. You know, even though I haven't even got the perfect base, <laughs> my, skin, my skin is quite hydrated at the moment. Um, so luckily I managed to get a good slip on it and it's quite warm. Otherwise that would have been a disaster. Can you see how nice that is? Right, just to finish off, uh, just because I don't like to have my eyes not done because it makes them look small. As I'm sure many of you know, when you do your own makeup, sometimes it actually can make your eyes shrink a little bit more in terms of the size. So I'll just use a little bit of the Laura Mercier concealer just for a lighter shade, just in there and in there. And then I can get on with the rest of the makeup. It's gonna be very kind of like clean, natural makeup, just sort of talking about different products. I find this time really exciting for makeup. Um, I feel that I've just been kind of living my coral, watermelon, bronzy, golden dreams with a bit of a random red lip this summer, orangey red, ofs. Um, and it's actually quite nice to embrace more perfected skin. Oh, this base is so nice. Um, and kind of experiment more with colour. Now, because my lips are so bumpy and if you've got any fine lines on your forehead, on your cheeks, or mine really annoy me over my lips. By the way, I've had a little treatment called Soft Wave, which takes about three months to develop. Um, and my skin should feel and look a lot firmer. So I'm having, I'm hoping that that's going to happen with um, my neck and uh, around my mouth, but I'll let you know. And you will of course see. Too early to tell just yet. Right, now, the best, the best brow pencil, as you know, as I've talked about many times before, is Brow Blade. Um, so I'm going to fill in my tail with the, this is called On Taupe, I think. Oh, got a little visitor. One moment. Oh. Actually, I just bought myself a little pale pink lampshade. You know, I was going on about the greens and the, my passion of um, soft pinks and greens at the moment. I just uh, treated myself to a little pink lampshade because I've got like a greeny wallpaper in the kitchen. Um, anyway, by the by. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I use the cold pencil just to fill in. You can see how much easier it is for me now. I've just got my little tint on my brows. And I'm not going as dark as the brow, because otherwise that would be too much. And then turn it around and use the ink. And at work, I'm always using these just to fill in people's brows, especially when you're doing sort of like close-up beauty, um, where you've got a big big lens analysing every detail of someone's brow. These are just great for that intricate single hair application. So there we go. And I'll finish off to stay in place, blink brow bar set, which I love the packaging of this actually. Bring them in, so I'm not using any filler. And they look so much better than they did when I said hi to you guys on the film. A um, couple more things. <laughs> Not gonna get rid of me yet. Um, Diego Della Palma do the best, best mascaras. 
I know I've used this before. My Happy Toy Mascara. And there's a certain friend that loves these mascaras. And I have to say, they're very touchy-feely. If you're stuck for a friend and you want a present, it is totally ridiculous. It was totally ridiculous, but it's so much fun. And I have one particular friend who literally squeals when I say I've got this mascara. Also because it's a really good mascara and it was really good at growing the lashes. Um, it's a volumizing mascara. Um, it's one of those mascaras that you need to kind of go, right, come on, get on with it. It's not natural, but it looks amazing on her lashes. And within like three weeks, her lashes were so long and delicate um, and really kind of fo became a focus on her face. That I said, oh my God, your lashes look amazing. She said, yes, Diego Della Palma mascara, my toy boy. I said, no, it's my happy toy. <laughs> not my toy boy, but anyway. Whatever floats your boat, anyway. It's such a good mascara and I wanted to bring it out today because it makes me smile and I think it's a nice gift, you know, if you want to get something a fun, if you want to get someone a fun gift, it's a great mascara and um, it's one of those mascaras that'll make you smile, which mascara doesn't necessarily do, does it? But it does. Right, a couple more things. My love of the summer for my lips has been my Clay de Beau Lip Glorifier, which I know I've used before and it should be right in front of me. Here it is. Um, because I've used it so much. I love, love, love this packaging. To make sure I cover my face. It's so pretty and so girly and just so, so nice on my lips. Um, this is shade number two, I believe. Because obviously I'm now I'm half blind. Oh, and who's had a ganglion? <laughs> so my finger, here I've just literally, my fingers, well they're actually getting, my hands are just getting like my mum's actually. No respect, no disrespect to you mum. But they get, and I think I've got a lot of damage from my knuckles from actually pulling my kit around. It's like 50 odd kilos. Anyway, I had this big swelling on my knuckle. It's, it's actually quite painful. And I, th I think it's the beginning of arthritis. Oh. And it's a real shame because obviously I use my fingers quite a lot, apply makeup, so I was becoming really conscious and I was talking to people like this. Anyway, you can go and get your feet sorted, lumps and bumps and stuff, but it's really hard to go and get your hands fixed in the UK. Pretty much anything in the UK at the moment. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, and yeah, so it's gone, they've drained it. Anyone else had a ganglion? If you go on Google, they say smash it with a Bible, but I wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, if you need help, I can tell you where to go and what to do as well. Right, blush, just to finish off, and maybe a couple of other things too. Um, infused cream blush, this is a sunlit coral. This is new from Max Factor. They've got some new blushes, Karen, I want to show you. I was like, oh great, picked up sunlit coral, shock. Put it on my hand, and I was like, okay, that looks really nice. And then I blended it out, and I was like, ooh, not really sure about that. It's sort of slightly metallic -y. not really sure that looks very modern. I was wrong. Look at this. Really, really sheer, sits beautifully into the skin, and that sort of metallicness that kind of put me off when I first looked at it just gives this lovely radiance to the skin. It's a little bit on my nose, just on the bridge. Um, it is so nice, and especially over a nice base like this hourglass one, it has lasted and lasted. And um, I've actually been really chuffed with myself, which is not something that I say very often. And I mean not chuffed with myself, but I've been to lunch with some friends or working or whatever. And you know when you sort of catch yourself in the mirror and you just think, oh God, I need to do my makeup again or whatever. I've gone, oh, I look all right, sort of quite put together. And um, this combination of the uh, blush and base, nice lip and my um, mascara has um, kept me happy. Anyway, I think that's probably enough drivel <laughs> for now. I hope it's not drivel. Um, so yeah, pretty much cut my face, <laughs> poured something down my top, left my brows on nearly too long. Anyway, it's great to be back and please, I've got a whole host of things that I'm shifting through and I kind of, oh God, I would just love to be able to have a chat. That's what I'd love. I'd love to be able to just have a live chat. Maybe we should do that at nine o'clock in the morning. I know I always say this, but not everyone watches at nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe we can just record it just to have a chin wag because you're all such a great bunch. I hope you've managed to have a little bit of a, a break over summer and um, kind of feel ready, steady for the next kind of 
section of the year. It feels more like a restart than it does in January, really. January, I'm like clawing myself into January, but September, I'm like whoop, whoop. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much. Love to you all. See you next week.